5 Mysteries of the Brain First up, we will discuss the secrets of sleep and dreams. Annie Lennox sung of sweet dreams in the 1980s, but when she declares that they're made of this, she doesn't explain what that is. In fact, why we dream and where sweet dreams come from is still a mystery. We don't even really know why we sleep at all. It's bizarre to think that something we do every day can't be explained by scientists. We know that we need sleep, and if we don't get it, the consequences can be dangerous. It's thought that at one point sleep provided an evolutionary benefit. It would have kept early man safe in his cave for a few hours, whilst dangerous predators such as saber-toothed tigers were out and about. But now that we have electric lighting, sleep is really just very time-consuming. In fact, we sleep for approximately one-third of our lives. It doesn't seem very sensible to spend so long doing something where we are defenseless. One of the reasons it's thought we have to sleep is so that our bodies can restore themselves as we rest. But that doesn't explain why our brains stay active while we sleep. It's thought that the brain continues to work on problem solving, which we'll then use in practice when awake. It's known in the world of education that it is impossible to learn if sleep doesn't occur in order for the knowledge to be reinforced. It goes against the popular study method of staying up all night. Research suggests that students will not take in any information if they don't sleep after a study session. There are high schools that have taken on board the research and made the beginning of the school day later to allow their students more time to sleep. REM sleep was discovered in 1951, and it is thought that it occurs in a different part of the brain than other states. Scientists have attempted to learn about this mysterious area, but there is still a long way to go. It's thought that while sleep allows the body to rest, dreaming is the brain's way of going for a workout in which people sort through their thoughts, memories, and emotional problems. It could be that we're always dreaming, like the song Row 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 Your Boat says. Even whilst we're sleeping, we are bombarded with all sorts of visual stimuli that the brain sorts through. When we're not sleeping, we have to work through stimuli from all of our senses, but the process the brain goes through is the same as for the visual stimuli when we're sleeping. If the brain is doing the same thing, no matter whether we're awake or asleep, perhaps Shakespeare was right and life is but a waking dream. Number 2. Another mystery of the brain is working out how on earth we process the concept of time. Sound travels much faster than we process visual images, but our brains manage to get the two things on the same page. If scientists are able to work out how our brains manage to synchronize information in this way, it would lead the path to understanding and counteracting disorders such as dyslexia. Number 3. Another mystery of the brain is how deja vu works and why we experience it. We've all had that feeling that we've already been in the same moment before. Despite how common it is, deja vu cannot be explained by neuroscientists. Because there's no way of telling when it may happen, and when it does it's over so quickly, it's almost impossible for scientists to study it. Number 4. Our next mystery is how music triggers emotional responses. Almost everyone links music to emotions, and our body reacts by moving to the beat in the music. It has already been determined that we are fully able to function without music in terms of the necessities to survive, but music has a clear effect upon us, both physical and emotional. It is thought that this could be because music replicates speech or movement. Number 5. The final mystery has to do with laughter. We still don't know why people laugh or how fun is linked to laughter. Everyone finds different things funny, and sense of humor is very personal. Scientists think that laughing plays a part in balancing what's going on in our heads, particularly difficult processes such as stress. We do know that laughing creates endorphins and other chemicals which have an antidepressant quality, and laughing has a natural intoxicating effect on us. What's your favorite mystery of the brain? Let us know in the comments section below, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more great videos like this one.